Hello guys, welcome back to my video. Today I'm playing more of a China campaign. It's uh, closing in on uh, the new expansion with Death, Death and Dishonor, so I'll really try and just finish the campaign uh, as soon as possible so we can play. And I'll do a stream exactly when it drops, probably. Uh, just talking, I've been. I'll do it now in the beginning of the video. I thought just to talk about the update. I'll, I'll do a stream and I'll play. Uh, I want to play Hungry the most. I feel like they are the most fun so that's what I'll probably do and uh, at the same time I can mm, manage my marines these should probably go directly towards the capital I guess yeah so you can go there the rest can be here the infrastructure is good nice Okay, so I'll do a stream. I'll play Hungary, and uh, after and probably just try and finish, like try and get Austro-Hungarian borders with this, something like this. I'm thinking, not actually going for a world conquest. Um, just yeah, <laughs> nice, nice-looking borders. And after that, I'll probably do a surviving as Czechoslovakia. I'm thinking, or maybe a. And what more? Yugoslavian. Communist Yugoslavia is quite fun. Because um, of you get uh, T2. So that's kind of cool. And maybe you we go in the Soviet faction. And, mm, it seems too easy though. Everything seems to. So I like the update. I think these nations definitely needed it. I'm so. I'm, the only thing is I'm sad that Bulgaria didn't get um, a focus dream. That's like super important, I thought. Uh, I thought as well, at least. And they didn't get it, so I was like super mad at that. And also, I think Turkey didn't get an, a tree, and that's also sad because, like, I want <laughs> Ottoman Empire that kind of stuff. But it's cool. Hopefully, in the next update, we'll take care of the North. Uh, hopefully. Or maybe Asia. It would be fun with China and stuff. Just thinking now, though, it's. Though, it's like. <laughs> Uh, it's not really time to talk about that, that now when that update hasn't even dropped about the next update um, but <laughs> even still it's quite interesting I think that they decided to not to include Bulgaria or uh, Turkey in this definite dishonor though I guess didn't really I guess from their perspective didn't really fit in I think these are ones oh no check so one two three four four and I'll probably do a second stream um, just like I'm thinking doing one stream in the beginning just doing Hungary and then probably one more stream with one of the other ones and do a basically do a series on one of the f f a third one something like that and the fourth I mean I don't need to play every uh, all of them I guess uh, except if people want me I, mean, I can do a series on the last one it depends really depends I guess Ooh, this area would be quite fun to explore I guess hmm. either way I th really I I think this plan should work. I don't. We can see how many factories, two factories, extensive uh, civilian. I mean, I have every single advantage for this. When taking these out, we'll probably go for Thailand. And uh, how I think you do it, you do naval on behind the front lines. And also, you should probably do navals up here. I think. So, we probably need more. Um, Marines. Just a one batch. Fun. And I'm going down Blitzkrieg, right? Yeah, nice, nice. I got this one with all the organization, so that's good. So my infantry is really strong right now. And uh, let's just check how many infantry we have, because that's kind of important. Only five. So we'll probably need to pump out a couple of more of these divisions. Not now, though. We'll wait until after the war. We'll actually cut these down when I need the equipment. Very high, good. Uh, now the question is, what do we think we'll do? Huh. This could be good. Could be good. Mm, not really. We have the national unity. Infrastructure, possibly. It's actually maybe not a bad choice. I'm 
uh, infrastructure. No, we should probably get the uh, offensive. Just check what we have to choose from. Yeah, offensive. We're going to war soon. The 5% extra should could be uh, quite useful to just help us get that extra damage. Especially because we're going to fight a lot of wars in the coming years, I guess. Let's see. They would accept us. Need the... No, <laughs> should... The world tension, excuse me. Good thing it's low though. I, I don't think I'm going to join NATO. It's, it doesn't seem like a fun option. We're actually guaranteed. I like that. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm, it doesn't seem fun joining CSTO or NATO. Because like, um, I should be able to beat China by myself if I do it right by probably... I, I don't want to like say a year. This is gonna be tough, really tough. But I'm thinking between like 2006, 2008 time period, I could beat China by the time schedule I'm holding now with just basically between one and two expansion as expansions a video, and it's going to go quicker now. For every expansion I get, it's gonna be quicker. Depending if people join, <laughs> if they join NATO when world tension is high enough, that would be kind of sad. If they did, I think. Mm. And uh, otherwise, so what's the goal after? Oh man, it's what I'm. I'm not sure actually, because like I'm thinking about expanding into Saudi Arabia, and I want to do that. It gives a lot of factories, I guess. Does it? Not really, but it gives resources and factories from that. But I don't need the factories, because I'll have re the resources, so I don't need to trade. So it's quite interesting. I don't actually. They have so much steel. I didn't know they had that much steel. They have a lot, so. Hmm. What do they have? Oil. That's <laughs> that's it, basically. Aluminium. In reasonable numbers, but I don't need that. Okay, rip. <laughs> so other people I can invade then after Oman, I guess. So, uh, I. Not really helpful. But with, no, it's actually really helpful because then I can take out India from this side, push down, do navels in, and uh, when India is down, that would. R but they're really strong. So, like, India is basically the thing I take on b before China, like right before. For the border. It's like I will be need to be stronger before I could do something like that. Other people like every seems like it's super hard to invade here in Asia. I feel like it at least. Oh, actually, we, no, we don't have a factory space. That's the problem. We'll get this guy. It's probably Thailand then. Go get up here, take out the other ones around. We'll see if uh, this faction forms. That it should, because I f have historical AI on, but we'll see, we'll see. Oh, we could actually go for nukes, maybe. Oh, right, we need to defend ourselves from nukes. China has nukes. Uh, well, that's kind of rip us. So I'll need a big air force then to defend from them. Okay, so we'll probably need to start constructing that air force. <laughs> Quite soon. So I'll need to research the best planes of the time. And uh, just get, get a lot of them. And just have them on defense all the time. Okay. Third do. Oh, yeah. This guy. Recruitment strategies. Would, it's really useful. It's one of the better. Uh, I feel like it's one of the better um, focuses in this stand generic tree. It's the one thing you just rush. Like, the rest here is basically worthless, I feel like. But that one is good enough to take all of this time. Because like all of the manpower you can get, you should probably get it. Because <laughs> it's quite uh, sparse, I think is the word. Scarce. Yeah. That. Right. Not a lot to build. can probably get an... Good. I should probably get a better naval base on this side. 
uh, for the reason that we'll, we'll need to um, enable to both of these sides. I think you need to do two separate naval invasions for them, for these two. And I'll probably need a third one if I can use this one, I think. Depends what level it is. Get that up to five as well. Like that. And we can do naval to the capital here. So basically what the plan is we if we manage to land, maybe we should land for up. Yeah we can probably land here. That should be better. Just cut off their supply entirely. Try and kill off these guys and uh, the naval here is just so if they have troops up here, they won't destroy these guys. They will need to stay and defend here. And if they go down and destroy here, this will just come up. So I'm gonna send that one later after I'm thinking. So that has a chance of uh, landing, because I, otherwise I don't think it really does. <laughs> Come on, it's can't it be October soon? Ah, oh. <laughs> don't want to wait so long. Just oh, well, let's look at the population. It's going plus. That's good. It's nice. Because I haven't picked up <laughs> the birth control. The bonuses are so nice. But the monthly population is what I'm worrying about. Before I have, uh, in, when I occup when I take India, I like I'll get so many people. But until then, and also I'll take Bank uh, Bangladesh. But until then, we probably need to <laughs> wait with that birth control. Cause uh, yeah, I'll probably run out of men. I f I'm thinking, not. It's possible. Yeah, like it's big. It's, it's most likely I won't, but I just like having that uh, uh, always you're going plus in manpower. I don't like going minus. Like you, uh, how t I think it's uh, the civilian goes minus, but the recruitment goes up by like one or two soldiers, but that's nothing. So like, it's basically you don't gain any men, what I feel like at least. Artillery, I think artillery is the best. I'm not actually sure though. So, like, let's check. I have basically artillery in this one, and I will have armor. It does it say armor tanks. Armor. We should. Pr yeah, let's go for armor. It's more f fun, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I think this is good, and we'll pump out a lot of tanks <laughs> in the coming time or whatever you see it's like yeah we have loads and loads of tanks hopefully when it's time to invade China and they will just do spearhead invasions and I'll do navels all along the coast so and take them by surprise like the AI won't will hopefully just surrender quite fast because I can't really s I'm not going to just play this game and just conquer nations until um, I have as many factories and stuff because that will take so long instead I'll try and w do a quick victory I think that is the best option because like time and uh, stuff okay we're pushing in here it's good we surrendered quick and Yep, we're moving towards the capital. This naval invasion is happening in case of anything. Yeah, the capital's fallen. And now we, s we don't have any cities. Rip. Yep. Yeah, that went really easy. This naval's basically, I thought, well, I have enough troops here already. And this is in case anything goes wrong. Maybe this can save me. Oh well, it went well went really well so now I'm um, I guess we'll move up here I guess I guess we can do that <laughs> seems like the easiest option these don't give me anything uh, yeah I'll just take the resources I guess surplus surplus Nice. And we'll do an offensive line. 
no no reason to do navels like to where would I do maybe to here it's probably better to just invade and now I have a big front line with them should be really easy just take it all over okay now actually we'll have to move all of these over to their own general well I can probably just promote that guy but I really don't want to I want to wait as long as possible He's so good as in him as he is. Oh wait, what about this? You promote this guy, and we can switch them later. Um, so when this goes up to over 24, we just switch them out, and the Marines will have the best guy. And this guy can right now start to rack up experience. I gain like 100,000 soldiers from that, I think. That's quite nice. We'll go down here now, I think. It seems we don't really have a lot of options left. We've done the whole tree. Uh, the good part, at least. No, we'll pick up this. I think that's the best. After that, and this is like will take super long, but then we can go down here, take up the factories, go up, pick up this for no re real reason. <laughs> because why not, I guess. I guess why not. <laughs> and then we can probably pick up rest stuff. Yeah. Oh, and also, we have option to do this, right? Right, we can always do this. But it, it will probably do air production, because air production is so good. Usually. And construction. Construction and repair is also really good. Armor training, not really. <laughs> Need to stockpile stuff. And we'll produce two more. We'll edit the guy so he contains a 10 combat width recon field hospital. We'll train because we have a time. This guy is right. This is not right, but we can. I'll, I'll, I'll work on it. This contains mechanized and light. Yeah, good. 31 combat with. I feel like it's too big. Like, I would like it somewhere along this line. In combat with. And, uh. Signal company. Intr oh, no. Now I've wasted stuff, but maybe we should have a maintenance. We'll see. We can try. Try out different stuff. It's not that important that we um, just <laughs> have uh, not. <laughs> it's like I don't care if I waste some uh, PP. Yeah, uh, what is it? Arm experience. I mean, rip. Okay, this will probably go very well. I mean, we have more troops. Mm, not really. I thought we had. We'll capture their stuff and. Uh, Defeat them. Oh, steel factories. Thanks for giving me free res resources. Hmm. Interesting. Just free steel, I guess. Don't really. I don't really care. It's like two steel, but hey. And here. Yeah, we're looking good in terms of stuff. <laughs> I have Saudi Arabia. I'm not sure if it's if it's too boring to just continue going up this way. Because we could just go up here, go into India. That would be like the, easy, the best way, I think. Take Paki though. So take Saudi, Iraq, Iran, Afghan, Paki, India, Bangladesh, military, Thailand, Laos, and uh, Nepal, Bhutan, and then just whoop, destroy them. That would be, totally work. And then take Mongolia as well. So we can do that. And when we've done with all of the taking everything, we should probably just <laughs> return the territory to every country. Just leash them. Because it's all just temporarily. I don't know, maybe. That would be fun. I don't know. Hmm. Questions, questions. Other options. Take Saudi. Just navels over to Pakistan. Quite strong. Oh, Iran is really strong. 
probably want to pass through. Oh, all of these on the way are strong. Not Afghan, but well, <laughs> sure, they're weak. Okay, but we need to go through strong nations first. I'll take that for no particular reason. I guess we're just wasting time, but hey, I don't care. Oh, other stuff I can take over. North Korea, oh no, we're guaranteed. I was thinking gaining this border, that would be quite fun. In case, when I go to work China though, I have a couple objectives I want to do. It's probably, it's like seize this island, this half island. Capture Shanghai. And uh, have a foothold. I want to do naval and capture this island here. Surrender these two. Because they never defend their puppets. I, I, I tend to see that they never do it at least. Just because surrendering them and I don't know why really. Just push out. So I'll need to do a lot of microing in this war I'm thinking. Maybe do a naval here, push up. Because like all of these front lumps I'm opening up would uh, hopefully need mean China uh, diverts troops from the main front line here. That I think I will have. It depends though. I'll I'll seize these nations here and see if uh, I can just go to work China immediately after. Because you don't. I don't need know how big an army I need. But uh, most of most <laughs> the most important thing is I don't get surrendered immediately by factory output. I'm doing this for basically. Um, if he nukes, I don't want him to nuke me. That would be kind of sad. It's a lot of civilians. Purpose. I can probably start converting some more civilian factories over. I think that seems good. Seems okay. I think. Oh, paratroopers! Yeah. We'll we'll do a paratrooper brigade. I'll do that. I'll use that instead. For here, I guess. Huh. Yeah, it seems smart. We need more of these. Like this. Probably like that. Okay. Let's start converting. 11, 8. I, I like having similar. Hmm. Here we can probably convert over some. I don't want to convert over too many, but we'll start with 4 and see where factory numbers are. Because like we we will get so much from here. <laughs> I'm just capturing all of it, and I'll I'll probably move it up to free trade. Because like I don't need that many resources. Right, as it is, I can probably move down later, and uh, it would be a super bad idea to move down. Because like let's see here, we're exporting 292, but we're still plus. Exporting 160 is still plus. Exporting still plus. Exporting still plus. Exporting st not plus, but hey, okay, <laughs> fine. It's too uh, good of deals, or as it is right now, I feel like, to do anything else, but ooh, actually running low on time, so we'll see how long this justification is, we can probably, we'll do that in the next episode, so if you enjoyed the episode, leave a like down below, tell me in the comments what you want to see next, and I'll see you guys in the next episode, bye.